Hello guys, my name is Michael and today we are going to learn how uh, to install code blocks in latest uh, Linux Mint release which is now 19.1 uh, point two, sorry uh, you can check it lsb under uh, score release minus a and as you can see here says uh, knowledge was available Linux Mint and Linux Mint 19.2 Tina okay so that being said uh, today we are going to install uh, code blocks it is a uh, editor which I am uh, using it all the time especially uh, when I am creating uh, my GTK uh, applications so that being said let's get started for this uh, like you already saw you are we are opening our uh, terminal and we are going to type the following um, sudo to get install code blocks just like that and of course if you hit tab you see there are a lot of another options but we are not going to need now so I'm just hit enter I insert the password and then we are going to install it as you can see this operation takes a little bit time uh, needs 11.4 uh, megabyte so in a moment we'll be uh, done it will be done after the code blocks is ready to be used we are going to run it so now let's see I go now to menu and then I'm going to programming and here is our code blocks idea and now I'm going to use right click and put it on my panel so that I have it right here and now let's run it at the beginning it search for a compiler which defaults to GCC in my case so I will just uh, use OK and now as you can see here is the code blocks uh, the editor and as you can see uh, it is ready to be used so that being said I'm going to create a new project to see how it works uh, I will take a console application this is 90-90% uh, of time uh, I'm using it. I'm going to skip this part. This wizard we're not interested. I'm going to choose C because we are go going to work uh, now example in C language. And I'm going to give a title, title and C, and I will call it C uh, language. That being said, I'm going to choose a folder. I'm going to throw it in templates, open and then as you can see it is here my project it will be in uh, home Mickey templates and then of course this, this is the resulting file name which we are talking to one important thing is that as you can see it is not c language dot c and you will see in a moment something uh, which is very important so i go to next the next page i, I let it the way it is so the debug and the release uh, both and then I hit finish now on the right side here where the management is I'm going to double click on the main C and as you can see here it is our main uh, function which is already um, provides uh, us a, a skeleton if I can call it this uh, where you can compile it and run it but as you can see we have a problem here it says fatal error STD 
input output uh, header file no such file for directory so why is that well there is a problem here let's see let's go a little bit to settings compiler and see what do we have here we are going to toolchain executables because here are the executables which are working with our C block uh, code block sorry and as you can see everything here it's fine but it's still not working so that being said it is missing something and of course it's missing something and uh, this is um, in fact uh, you need uh, let me show you something let me clear uh, let me let us see which version does have installed at the moment uh, uh, Linux Mint uh, when you install it as fresh so GCC minus version okay we, we need two of them and says it is 7.0 at this moment it is uh, the version 9 out but we are going to talk about this uh, not right now so this means uh, we need also the the uh, C++ compiler which is uh, G++ it, so let's see G++ minus uh, minus version and as you can see it is not here and that is the reason even if uh, standard input output uh, header it is uh, basically in um, a true work with um, GCC this uh, editor basically doesn't work without G++ that being said we are going to install it so like as you already seen here I'm going to copy I'm going to paste it and wait until it's done now I hit enter it takes a little bit time uh, this is the power uh, where I was uh, telling you if you notice that the, the extension uh, name of that file which were created was uh, not an C extension file well now you see why because doing this uh, you, it is not working directly only with GCC it needs also G++ now let's see let us this time not uh, build and run we are going to rebuild our program yes and now I'm going to hit again build and run and as you can see it works fine there is also one problem this is the second problem which you get when you are working with uh, when, when you are installing um, your um, code block code block default has no terminal so this means after you compile it and run it like here everything is fine but it's not working and this means because you have no terminal to fix it you go up here to settings environment and then you can choose here something but before as you can see it says terminal to launch console program it is extern so basically let us work at the moment with this one so this means we need to install it so sudo aptitude get install external extern okay I'm going to install it first it should take uh, just a moment and now because uh, we are installing this uh, X terminal which is uh, for our, our X windows basically now when I'm going to rebuild again and then I'm going to uh, build and run this time you get a terminal of course this terminal is, it is a little bit ugly a lot of people they are not using including me so to change it it is easier you can use the gnome this one this means you go back to settings environment and then here says terminal to launch console app uh, programs this one you find it on inside the general settings 
so I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose this one right here which is the GNOME terminal title X I, I hit OK and then I'm reboot it again and once that I'm done now watch when I run it here is my GNOME this one I like it I can uh, also configure it to let's say the color we are not going to use this one we are going to let the back no transparency at all and also we are going to use green this one and now I'm going to close it and let's see if we run it again what happens uh, okay the transparency is out but the color is not there so let's go back to preference color and the text color we are going to use this time something like red and not so okay and now I'm going to close it and as you can see we have it now um, in green now there is something which I want to show you let me make it uh, in uh, maximize and now I'm going to clean it and watch there is something which also a lot of people they don't like it uh, when they are working with uh, the default terminal when you are creating uh, new tabs as you can see you can only new tabs create this is not bad because you create one and then you create a second one and, and then you can just move from one to one but how about if you want to work with both in the same time I mean you want to have it one here and one here and not uh, working with these tabs how will you do that well for this there is a uh, another kind of uh, terminal a better one in these cases and it is called a terminator so I'm going to install it sudo get install terminator okay sudo update get install terminator we are going to install this one you will see something in a moment I want to hit enter because I want to install it it is done in a moment which is uh, the best choose for me me I'm working uh, like for five years or maybe more I don't know with this terminal now watch now we go again here settings environment and we are going to set a new one it's not it is not here no problem uh, we are going to just change this name to terminator terminator okay just like that you see now we have terminator minus t uh, dollar sign title and then minus six i, I press ok i rebuild and then after I'm done I'm, I'm building my program and we have a problem it's not working okay why is not well it is not working because the terminator it doesn't work with minus uh, minus X it it works only with minus E so I'm going to build again uh, to rebuild again and now when I build and run it is still not working so let me see because I already have it here terminator minus tx okay may I save something here I prepare it for this kind of thing so now let me see what the difference is what I forgot yeah I forgot okay because it it is uh, uh, uppercase for t here if uh, I notice right and of course it is X okay so basically I I choose the wrong ladder let us build it, uh, rebuild it again and now I'm going to build a run and as you can see we have our terminator what's so special about it well let's see let us before we do something uh, let us uh, make some changes where it is where it where it is uh, preference uh, input language display and so on you see we have all these things we are not going to work them uh, I will need uh, other preferences or maybe I'll right click here yes this I was looking for the preference this one uh, 
and now we are going to change only the color for a moment so this means uh, the font color which I'm choosing now is green uh, this one and of course uh, no it's not transparent okay because I, th I thought it is transparent which I don't want to use it now I hit close now let me close the terminal and then now that I close it let me uh, run the program again to see if it works it, it doesn't work why let's go back preference I choose uh, the color I said select it and then uh, turn our title bar okay that's wrong we are in the wrong place here sorry profiles colors and then we are not going to use the color system theme we are going to use uh, um, something doesn't let me change here so I'm going to do something else I'm going to close it and I'm going to run it at the first here terminator okay terminator and now let's try again okay now it's now it's green no it's not it is still white why is that preference I wanted to have it green background red this is the title bar appearance profiles colors and then if we say use uh, gray color here it is uh, gray and black now we are going to use green on black there you go and now it is green okay so let let us see I will going to run the program again and you see it's here and now watch I'm going to use right click and I'm going to set split it horizontally now I have two you see one here one here now if I need four I just go here and I said this time split it vertically and here again split it vertically you see so this is basically uh, your your uh, advantage of uh, using uh, this uh, terminator because here you can do something uh, for example let's uh, update our system Here we can. Here we can do see something else. I don't know. Uh, we're going to list what is here. Here I can do something else, like a directory. You see how many things you can do, and this is only because uh, you choose to work with this terminal, this terminator terminal. Okay. Now I'm going to hit enter here, right in the left uh, one up there and as you can see it's closing but the terminal stays open so now we have basically the other three so this is the, the important part which uh, you can uh, uh, choose with it now I'm going to use here exit and now here exit and of course you can take advantage of much uh, more things like you see the, this uh, scroll bar here you can just kill it watch show scroll bar now it's out you see so you have even more room if you don't like it you don't have it so that being said this is uh, everything which I wanted to share with you today in this tutorial and the next one we are going to upgrade our our uh, GCC and uh, G++ to a new version and then later we are going to set up our code block to work with um, some other languages of course in my case we are going to set it to work with GT G C uh, gtk that being said until then thanks again for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys